Hey guys, today we're taking a look at the durability test of the Actus 1x6. Actus reached out to me and asked if I would do some durability testing and let them know what I thought of their optics before they released them. So that's exactly what we did. Went out to the range, did some shoulder height drops with a rifle and then shot at 100 yards at a body size steel target. So before we get into this video, I just wanna let you know there's no science behind the testing that we did. We are not professional durability testers for optics. We just went out to the range and did some different drop tests that we thought that wasn't way too out there that would never happen, but something that would be a little more realistic to see, like dropping your gun and seeing if the optic would hold its zero. So that's what we did. And uh, go ahead and get right to the video right now so we don't waste any more time. our first durability test on the Actus Optic. We're gonna do a shoulder height drop on the grass to start out with, just something a little softer, and then we'll move over to the stone. So we'll do this one first. I'll go right from the side, see what it does. I'm gonna do one like this now, so it's on the Optic. gonna hurt me just as much as it's gonna hurt you. We're gonna drop this on the stones now. Uh, big thank you to Radical Firearms that gave me this firearm to do all this testing with. So they told me basically to beat the crap out of the gun. So let's go ahead and drop this on the stones. Shoulder light. That's painful. All right, so we dented the cap. As you can see here, let's make sure there's no damage. Looks like no damage there, but the cap is dented, so it must have hit a rock. All right, shoulder height drop from here. It's so hard to drop this thing. So I got a little bit of dent on that one as well. It doesn't look like any damage on the inside. The rest of the optic, you got some dirt and stuff, but other than that, it looks good. Let's drop it again. Let's find a good spot of rocks, right, right here. That one got it good. Got some, a little bit of damage there. A lot more damage to that. Let's go ahead and take a shot. buffer has bent as you can tell that's not good so look at it do you see it has an upward angle so that's not allowing that to go back we're gonna try to push this back in place I didn't expect the gun to break quicker than the optic All right, we've kicked it back in, so we're good. We're back in place. Just a slight bend is all we had. So <laughs> let's, uh, she's running. Let's 
Let's go ahead and shoot it. I mean, that's not a not super non-serious drop. It's quite a few drops on his head, so we'll see if it runs. I can't say that I've ever uh, kicked a gun back into alignment to work. Well, it worked. Let's drop it again. I mean, it doesn't look like anything's too messed up in there. It maybe looks like the buffer tube rotated a little bit, but we're gonna keep rocking it. So, drop it again. Ready? Ready? Oh, <laughs> that was a good one. Oh yeah, that was a good one. Some damage there. Gun looks fine. We're also testing the the sling point and the Sylvan Arms quick detach thing. So we're getting a lot of things uh, durability test here. All right. So far, we look like we're holding on. So this is definitely loose a little bit. So when we get home, I'll take this apart and probably tighten this back down and see if it can grow. Looks like the buffer tube spun a tiny bit, but it's still straight, so I don't know. <laughs> Either way, that didn't look good. But we kicked it back into place and that's all that matters. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw this. Uh, it survived all the drop tests. So it's clear. Landed nice and on the optic. So again, yeah, just more scuffs, nothing too serious it looks like. Glass looks fine. Let's see. I think it made it work better, it feels smoother now. Hey, the sling, the sling point's holding up good, that's it. Shoot two more because that, that first one might have been user error, but we'll try it. All right, we definitely shifted somewhere with that one. paper we're right there <laughs> so good grouping <laughs> it's just everything shifted over to the right so uh, that I think that last one is what really did it so we threw it I think it twisted something shifted something over so we're almost the exact same height just over about I would say seven to eight inches so grouping still there so still holding where it's at it's just shifted right so what we're gonna do is I'm going to recite this back in. We'll go home, we're gonna do some different tests. I'm gonna put it under water and then I'll probably freeze it, do a couple other things, and then we'll come back out and then redo the test and do something different. Hope it won't be nearly as windy next time. Uh, but so far, I mean, I'm pretty happy with that. It kept the grouping, just shifted over to the right, which we did some pretty, pretty uh, big drops on it. So as you guys can tell from the video, the mount in the optic performed very well during these tests. I'm really happy to see how many times it was dropped and it held at zero and was able to continue going on through the testing. Uh, the last throw really uh, did a number on it. Moved that over a little bit to the right. Kept its grouping, but moved everything over a little bit. So still functional, still working, but uh, definitely not zeroed anymore. So that's why we stopped the testing right there. 
I am going to probably cite this back in and continue testing. Put in the comments what you guys would like to see done to this if you want to see more testing done to it. If you want to see freeze testing, uh, more drop testing, something different that we didn't do drop wise or drag or barrier or something like that, let me know what you guys would like to see with this. Uh, but so far, I do think this has performed really well. There are some pros and cons of this optic that I will end up going over in the full review if I make one for it. Uh, but if you guys have any questions during the full review for when I film that, let me know and I'll try to answer them during that video. But I will be curious to see how this performs later with more testing done to it. So if you guys would like to help out the channel and the things that I do here, there are a couple ways to do that down in the description. There are some discounts from companies I trust that you can use to save you a little bit of money. There's also a link to my website from there. There are other links like Brownells, Air Precision, Premier Body Armor. Anything you purchase using those links does help out the channel a ton. So I I thank you if you do those things. If not, I just appreciate you guys being here, liking, sharing, and subscribing. A couple companies that support the channel and things I do are Howitzer. These guys are a great clothing company and they donate 5% of proceeds to charity and I wear their clothes absolutely everywhere. Another company is TA Targets. Fantastic targets they make and you can save 10% off with using code Tactical Advisor as well. Both companies are fantastic and I really appreciate them for help supporting my channel. Thank you guys so much. And I'm testing the Primary Arms Micro Prism right now here on this rifle. This is the one that we did the throwing on. Actually, the uh, warranty work was done by Radical Firearms, so I contacted them and asked them about the bent buffer, and they said that's all covered under the warranty. They have a lifetime warranty on these rifles, so I sent it in. They paid for everything, and they fixed it and sent it back. It's actually cool about the paint is you're able to tell what all they fixed. They fixed the end plate in the buffer tube, and so far it has ran really well. I went out, and I put a probably another 200, 300 rounds with this optic on it, and the rifle has functioned very well. So we'll see how that continues to work and make sure nothing uh, causes problems or has any issues later down the road, but they did warranty that, and they said that was covered under the lifetime warranty. So for anybody that is running a radical firearms rifle, uh, you know that their warranty is pretty good, that I, I, <laughs> I destroyed the gun pretty much and uh, punted it to get it to work again, and they fixed it. So thanks to them for fixing this gun, and uh, I will see you guys later. Thank you guys so much. Okay.